All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start chronicling my model building, which is kind of what I thought was kind of lame for an adult to be doing, but hey, I'm into it. When I was a kid, I used to do them, and uh, when I got bored with doing it, I'd burn them, and now I'm older, and I could have paints. So I'm gonna start chronicling the ones I built, not the ones I assemble like that. So anyways, this is the first one I did. Bought this at Walmart and um, bought all the right paints, but you can see it looks a little shoddy. Um, hand painted everything on here. Then the next one I built was this P51 Mustang, which uh, propeller spins. Still hand painted for the most part. Didn't know how to put the canopy on, so um, glued that on quite poorly. Uh, those are decals on there. Next one I built was my Warthog here, which is one of my favorite planes. And so this is when I started using uh, spray paint, but I'm still a can kind of guy, so. Everything on here, I took what I did on this one is I took a lot of photos of existing warthogs and tried to replicate every detail as best as possible. Uh, still a lot of decals, but the painting, two tone. There you go. Um, yeah, so I was pretty proud of that one. The next one I did was the uh, F 18 Super Hornet. And uh, same technique for painting the top and bottom. Come up with a more dramatic difference between the two. But a lot more detail. In particular, look at the uh, interior of the uh, doors. So that's all hand painted still, but uh, mostly spray painted for everything else. And uh, this is, I believe, yeah, this is the first one where I use the. Uh, uh, Microset and the uh, Microsol, which is for making decals go on better. So that's when I started getting a little more technique as far as trying to get more realistic decals. Once I did that, I actually went back to this one and tried to do a little of the uh, Microsol Microset. Um, it's kind of weird doing that on a 100% complete model. So that was that. Then I took a break, I did this truck. And it was supposed to be blue, but I said I want to make it red instead. And so that was a pretty quick project there. I'm not really a car enthusiast. And then the most recent one I did, oh, I take it back. Then I did this uh, Osprey here. Uh, very similar with the multiple paint tones. Um, you can see the windshield is a little foggy because I didn't do that very well. Uh, propeller spin, they uh, angle up and whatnot. Um, but anyways, that was the next one I did. Then the next one I did was the uh, Huey. And this was, I believe, the most recent one I'd done. And so I got a lot of detail on there. Again, I'm having issues with the uh, windows. Um, I believe I put a um, lacquer on at the end to preserve things. So you get the wind shields that are quite foggy, but other than that, that's where you go. Then I haven't done one in a quite a while. And so I decided to, uh, build a model. I found at a Goodwill shop and I just did not get into it. So I just stopped and, uh, Meanwhile, I had a few kits given to me, bought. I got a few in the queue. That's that MiG-31 up top, which I just had no interest in doing. Uh, but I got a few in the queue. But I figured I'd do a car. And so the next one I'm doing right now is this Shelby GT500. And as you can see, I haven't even started it. So what I'm going to try to do is chronicle this. I'm not a car guy. So, um, I am a car guy, but not car models. Everything's very basic green. 
and uh, all I've done so far is starting to uh, assemble the engine. So I'm going to have to uh, do a lot of research on colors and whatnot. And um, so basically I've already got like 100 photos of the 68 Shelby GT 500 with the Cobra Jet front, rear, side, interior, engine, any reference that I can have as a guide. And I think the biggest challenge is going to be to find a body color because this is lime gold, something like that. And I don't think I could find a paint that is that exact color. So I'm going to have to go with a more basic color, like a black, red, or a blue, or something like that. Um, so I'm a little daunted by how this is going to go. Um, and that's the other thing is the instructions here don't actually have the colors. Most models that I've done here, the military ones are standard military colors. Uh, ghost gray, battleship gray, that kind of stuff. Um, but this, there's no guide as far as the colors. So I'm going to be going from scratch, trying to put together the right color combination that makes it make sense. Um, here's some photos that come with it. Um, but I believe the pictures of real versions of the car are going to be my best reference point. So there we go. And I will do um, specific videos on my progress with this model.